All right, rain's finally uh, stopped. The roads are dried out a bit, so I don't get my, uh, my nice detail job dirty here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a ride in my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art, or should I say Evo X Turboed Lancer Rally Art. Let's uh, go ahead and get in and start it up. Go ahead and pop the hood. Let it warm up a minute. So yeah, this thing has an Evo X turbocharger and uh, Evo X intercooler, MAP upper, MAP upper and lower charge pipes, ETS uh, intake, Torque Solutions motor mount. It's also got a Catalyst downpipe. Can't remember the brand, uh, and I'm sure some other stuff I'm missing. Go ahead and close the hood. It's got Evo X GSR wheels and MagnaFlow performance exhaust system. Paint seen better days. It's got some not so wonderful clear coat on it. Shined up pretty good. Looks good from a distance. Guess I'll get out of their way. I should probably take it for a spin. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in normal mode get out of the uh get out of the way here for everybody else starts wanting to for everybody else wants to get where i'm at it's never never fails totally deserted everything's totally deserted until you know until i'm ready to go so Kids are getting off school, so uh, once the school's let out, you gotta find a uh, strategic route to take where it's not as crowded. So hopefully I can find a spot to warm up and uh, go ahead and do that. God, let me shut the seatbelt light up here. Let's see, and then put this GoPro, fix it up. Uh, I'm gonna roll down the window. That way we can hear the uh, turbocharger a bit, huh? Yeah, leave that other one. All right. Go ahead and warm this thing up. We'll slow out of the neighborhood, warm the transmission up a bit. And uh, here we go.
it's always good to get the transmissions warm on these things on the uh, dual clutch SSTs before you really go out and pound on them so I probably should turn uh, torque or something on my phone and you know I could read the transmission if I had left that fancy Android head unit in here that this car had on it initially I certainly could have uh, torque up right now but uh, I don't feel like pulling my phone up number one and my Bluetooth adapter I think I've left plugged into the RX-8 so I'm just gonna let it go for now All right. So I'm going to slap this thing over into manual mode. Well, paddle shift mode, I guess. To call this thing's a manual's uh, to call this is a manual's true heresy to uh, manual enthusiasts. And then I'm going to put it into S Sport. So this car has the uh, rolling S Sport enabled with the uh, TCU version three mod. You can see you can either pull this thing back or you can shift. The S-Sport gives a nice clean feeling shift, nice crisp, nice sharp hit versus uh, being as smooth as normal or even sport. And it's preferred that you drive these in S-Sport because it slips the clutches a lot less and uh, hence produces less uh, debris in the uh, dual clutch transmission fluid. see if we can't get going can be a bit delayed sometimes on this thing I'm not sure if that's just a worn uh, SST or if these are normally like that and the transmission is just trying to find its uh, its optimal point to shift but uh, that's why I prefer a full-on manual or that's why I prefer manual not full-on manual it's why I prefer a manual transmission and not this but to each their own, I guess. Still a fun car, nevertheless. Still a fast car. Traffic doesn't look too bad yet. Hopefully, hopefully, I can plan my route accordingly. I've, uh, I've decided to sell this car, actually. I've had it for a bit. I've done some work on it. It's a really fun car, but uh, I've purchased an RX-8 since then with a six-speed manual transmission. And uh, my aspirations of doing a manual swap on this is a little bit too complicated, so I've decided to move this one along. See, there's a little delay. It's 
like I'm still in the clear. Looks like I'm still going the right direction. Let's see if I can get a left turn. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I decided to move this along. The, uh, the conversion of these to manual is a bit complicated. Well, very complicated actually to put a GSR transmission in them. Uh, the five-speed GSR transmission from the Evo. Uh, I have a core dual clutch I was gonna rebuild and put in that I thought I'd do as well. Uh, that's a bit pricey and time consuming. Um, I don't know, too many projects. In the RX-8, I have more fun driving it even though it isn't half as fast as this off the line. It's a lot more fun, in my opinion, to drive. And uh, being a manual transmission enthusiast, uh, you know, you've got to let stuff like this go. You can't keep it around. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. Also experimenting with uh, some camera setup stuff. I'm only wanting run camera, only running one camera today. I don't have the Insta360 or any of the other GoPros out. Um, I'm going to... Get some other mounts, maybe get some sidecar shots and stuff like that. But I uh, just figured this was a good test run. Get a video to, uh, to demonstrate, you know, link up on Facebook Marketplace uh, if anyone wants to watch it since this thing's for sale now. And, uh, you know, practice it getting some good car footage. So, and yeah, that being said, this thing is for sale. If anybody watches this on YouTube, uh, this car's for sale if you're interested in it. I think I have it priced at like 8,500 bucks. If you're interested in it, get a hold of me. Of course, I don't get a green light. F and typical. I'm gonna try to save my, cut my swearing down so I don't have to edit any of it out. I think it hurts my analytics. I'm not sure, there we go. You can also see on these, you can toggle between, I think you can do it while you're driving, tarmac, snow, and gravel. So these do have the traction control options found on the Evo. It has the, uh, the active center diff as uh, on the Evo X. It just does not have the um, active yaw control or AYC differential in the rear. It has a simplified uh, limited slip Mechanical limited slip differential, similar to that one on the uh, Evo 9 and earlier. I'm acting like I'm an expert, I'm really not. But yeah, you can see, yeah, tarmac, gravel, snow. Tarmac, or gravel, snow. I guess I'm on tarmac. If you wanna see, uh, if you wanna know how that works, uh, there's a good video that you can dig up. Engineering Explained does a very good job explaining on the uh, at explaining on the Evo X what that actually does and how it works. Uh, so there's no point in me doing so right now. Shifted back and pulled harder, Brock. Come on.
foot to the floor. Not too bad. Pulls pretty good for a car of that price with 140,000 miles on it and some a tune and mods. Not too shabby. that I'm behind a school bus. That pretty much guarantees an uneventful, boring remaining uh, part of the drive, huh? Fantastic. There we go. Yeah, look at all these fancy uh, original navigation and everything. go for another rip come back in the other way why not can I do it pretty boring video aside from the few moments that I just rip on this thing a little bit but uh, I don't know I'm kind of surprised at the garbage that does good on YouTube so I think I'm just gonna put this whole thing on there likely completely unedited maybe I'll just throw a like and subscribe uh, sticker or something up with a little bell ding and a Facebook thumb boop, boop, or whatever that is and be done with it uh, you know cuz Editing takes a lot of time, and I'm kind of figuring, finding out that it's uh, not worth it. Not worth it at all. So I might just throw this up there, call it an effing day. <clears throat> this car is actually a lot of fun, uh, and for the price point of it, for these, um, they're kind of forgotten about. Maybe I should have talked a little bit more about this. Maybe I'll make some more content where I do talk about these. But yeah, the Rally Art didn't sell very well. It's not as well known as the Evo X or like a, you know, WRX, which is what uh, it competed against. No one really bought these. There's not many of them around, but uh, it's certainly a very capable car. And uh, especially when you throw an Evo Turbo in it, it has plenty of pep and they corner fantastically and they have very good traction. They're a lot of fun to actually drive in the wet, uh, drive in the rain and the snow because the traction is just so amazing uh, to what they can put down. It's pretty impressive. certainly not a car expert but just uh, comparison between the two between this and the RX-8 you know the RX-8 certainly rolls a lot less it corners fantastically but this car can really really put down the traction uh, especially in adverse conditions when it's wet out I'm really hesitant even with its lack of uh, even with its lack of torque to uh, to really floor the RX-8 and the turns but this thing when it's slick or wet, uh, you know, I'm a, quite a bit less reluctant to do uh, to do that. So, 
Watch out there, guy. So yeah, don't take my advice, kids. Always drive your car safe. Always go to the speed limit. Uh, you know, be safe, don't crash, that kind of stuff. Don't be irresponsible. Leave, uh, leave that to the professional idiots. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the car back to normal mode. And then I'll shift it into auto mode. The reason that you want to switch these into uh, normal mode before switching back to auto is that if you have it in super sport and you switch it in auto mode, it's gonna surprise you and it's gonna downshift at, uh, to get the RPMs up, kind of jolt you a bit. So you'll learn to switch it back to normal mode before you switch it into auto mode. I mean, this thing isn't automatic. I don't know why I call it auto mode. It's always an automatic transmission. That's what I classify it as, but whatever. Automatic shifting mode. <clears throat> so there we go.